That means you still over there with Gorilla Face Gloria. Candy, what up, Candy? All right, let's get to the next. Uh, I got two more. Yo, I got to get to Troy Ave and uh, Mano. But first, I got to get on talking about my guy. Okay. This is also breaking news. Still under fair use here. Hi, my boy, my boy Trump is indicted. Let's just get into the to the story real quick. We still under fair use here. Investigating his role in a hush money payment to an adult film star during his 2016 campaign, a claim Mr. Trump denies. A lawyer for Mr. Trump says the former president welcome. We start tonight with the historic breaking news here in New York City. Gra a grand jury has voted to indict former President Trump. Investigating his role in a hush money payment to an adult film star during his 2016 campaign, a claim Mr. Trump denies. A lawyer for Mr. Trump says the former president has been notified of the indictment. The action is unprecedented. It is the first time a former or sitting American president has been indicted. NBC's Garrett Hake leads our coverage tonight. Garrett, what more do we know? Well, Lester, this historic vote came two months to the day since this grand jury was impaneled. The case is all about an alleged hush money payment that former Trump fixer Michael Cohen says he made on Mr. Trump's behalf to an adult film actress to silence her claims of an affair that Mr. Trump has denied. Now, the payment itself is not illegal, and we don't know specifically what charges Mr. Trump now faces. It could be a misdemeanor relating to falsifying business records, or Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg could also have charged a low-level felony, which would be more of a legal gamble. And Garrett, this is a moment the president has been anticipating for weeks. He, he, he was making this public at a time a lot of people weren't talking about it. 
That's right, Lester. He even predicted his own arrest about a week and a half ago. And tonight he's calling the indictment, quote, political persecution and election interference at the highest level in history, calling the Democratic DA a disgrace for bringing this case at all. Now attention will turn to how he handles a potential surrender, a mugshot, an appearance before a judge in New York City, which will now be a major political event in addition to part of a criminal case. All right, Lester. Garrett Hakes, thank you. And joining me now, NBC senior legal correspondent, Laura Jarrett. Laura, let's start with you in this case against the former president. Uh, it is not a sure thing in, ter in terms of what we know so far about the indictment. Lester, it is a historic move for sure, but it is far from an open and shut case. Based on what we know at this moment, the charges we believe prosecutors have zeroed in on, a potential charge of falsifying business records requires an intent to defraud. And Mr. Trump's attorneys will say this hush money payment was all Michael Cohen, his former lawyer's idea, and that Cohen's credibility here will be absolutely key, as he's obviously a target for Mr. Trump's lawyers, given his previous convictions on this very issue. Now, both Alvin Bragg's predecessor in the DA's office, Cy Vance, and federal prosecutors passed on charging Trump in this very hush money case. Of course, we haven't seen the exact charges. We haven't seen any indictment in this case, Lester. So that remains to be seen. Yeah, some of these themes have been previewed up to even before this point. The investigations of Mr. Trump don't end after today's indictment. The former president is facing other legal challenges related to the 2020 election and classified documents found at his Florida home. Let's get more on that now from Kristen Welker. Tonight's news of an indictment against former President Trump is just the first of several looming legal battles facing the former president. Investigations Mr. Trump has blasted as partisan pursuits. They're not coming after me. They're coming after you. I'm just standing in their way. In Georgia, a Fulton County grand jury has recommended indictments for multiple unnamed people after an eight-month probe into potential interference in Georgia's 2020 election, where Mr. Trump narrowly lost. One element of the investigation, this phone call between Mr. Trump and Georgia's Secretary of State. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have. Any charges against Mr. Trump would be up to the DA, but the jury forewoman saying this. There are certainly names that you would recognize. Yes. Mr. Trump has blasted the investigation run by a Democratic prosecutor as a continuation of the greatest witch hunt of all time. Also swirling, the special counsel investigation into the former president's handling of classified documents. Last summer, the FBI seized thousands of documents from Trump's Mar-a-Lago home, including more than 100 marked classified after he refused requests to turn them over for months. The special counsel is also investigating Mr. Trump's actions surrounding January 6th. Mr. Trump has dismissed the special counsel investigation as a horrendous abuse of power, but it could present greater legal danger than the case in New York. The crime that he allegedly committed is a bookkeeping crime, essentially, compared to the other investigations, which include efforts to overthrow or overturn the 2020 election. The New York case seems to be the least serious of them all. Kristen Welker, NBC News, Washington. And NBC News Chief Justice contributor Jonathan Deans has been following developments. Let's walk through what happens now. This has not been unsealed. Could that happen today, tonight? We know the paperwork has been handed up, but it is filed under seal. We are told a judge is standing by in case the district attorney decides that he wants to move forward and unseal the documents tonight and release any sort of statement tonight. We're awaiting word from the DA as to what he plans to do. And we're also awaiting word as when might President Trump come to New York to face these charges? Uh, we're told it's not possible, most likely tomorrow. So then the question is, is it Monday or Tuesday of next week? With the holidays coming, they may want to try to make that happen in the ne early next week. Otherwise, they may push it past the holidays. And there are security considerations, obviously, as well. The NYPD ramping up security around the city as a precaution. Jonathan Dean, it's good to have you here. Thanks so much. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. We start tonight with the historic breaking news here in New York City. Gra a grand jury has voted to indict former President Trump, investigating his role in a hush money payment to an adult film star.
My bad, y'all. My bad. No more mute. Yeah, I mean, y'all good now? All right, cool. Yeah, all right, I'm back. I'm back. I took it off mute. So what I was saying was, I don't know, my phone died. Yeah, what I was going to say was that, or what I was saying that y'all didn't hear, is that this case with Trump ain't, like, it's a misdemeanor. Like, this is, like, they made, they blowing it up, like, to be something so big. And all it is is he allegedly had sex with that lady, Stormy Daniels, I think her name is. And... Yeah, Stormy Daniels, and which would be him cheating on his wife, right? So they saying that he gave her some money, like don't, uh, don't, don't put out there that you know we was messing around, you know what I'm saying? Because then they're gonna have a scandal on me for the election, and that's the charge. That's the charge. The same shit Bill Clinton got had for Monica Lewinsky that they didn't charge him for that shit. But I guess he didn't pay Monica to not say nothing. Yeah, right. So this charge People hate Trump so much, they like, yeah, Trump got indicted. They don't even know what the charge is. The charge is him cheating on his wife. And who the fuck get arrested for that? All y'all out there that cheated on y'all wives or y'all husbands, that's what this is. And they trying to charge him for that, for giving them money to say, don't tell my, don't tell my wife. Don't tell my husband. <laughs> oh, what? You arrested me because I said don't I gave him my 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 side bitch some money. I take her shopping all the time any goddamn way. What the fuck? She knows she ain't supposed to tell. This thing getting arrested for that. That shit is bullshit. Oh, this is before he was married? Let me see. What year did Trump get married? Yeah, he was married. He got married to uh, Milana in 2004. 
No, he proposed in 2004, and they got married in 2005. So, yeah, and they son, uh, Baron, is born in 2006. So, yeah, he was married at the time when this happened in 20, what you call it? All y'all saying that he wasn't married, y'all got it wrong. He was married. He been married since uh, 05. It still ain't no goddamn crime. Like, I mean, it's a crime against God, but it ain't no crime. Like, they locking this thing up. Well, the hush money part is what they trying to get him with. That shit's such a bullshit ass charge. Oh my God, yo. These Democrats is trying everything to keep Trump out the goddamn office from running again. Y'all asses is out of here anyway. 